Backing up, something that most of us don't think about until it's too late. About five years ago or so, I got my very first iMac. So excited to get it set up and out of the box, I plugged in my hard drive from my previous computer, and in my excitement, I forgot the definition of the word reformat. Within seconds, all of my data I've created over the years were gone. There was nothing to do at that point. Data recovery is crazy expensive, and at the time, I didn't know the first thing about it. From that moment on, I have taken every step to make sure I don't find myself in that situation ever again. Today, I'm going to show you my backup solution. But before I get into it, I just want to state that there are many levels of backups. What I consider to be level one is having a simple single backup. If you have a Mac, for example, then Time Machine is the built-in backup software. Simply grab any hard drive, plug it into your Mac, and it will ask you if you would like to use this disk as a backup. Simply say, yep or do, and it's all set to go. If you are on Windows, most hard drives come with their own backup utility. You'll set it up through the manufacturer. There might be a simpler, easy to use built-in Windows backup software, I just haven't been that deep into a PC lately. The other end of the spectrum is a full-blown server. While I am certainly learning a lot on the subject, if this topic interests you, you should go check out Linus Tech Tips in the card above to see his company's crazy rendering and backup servers that they built. Okay, now on to my personal backup solution. I have three backups for my data. The first is a hard drive connected directly to my Mac Pro. Using Time Machine, it backs up what is directly stored on my Pro, such as documents, applications, etc. All of my main data, including raw photos, videos, and business documents, are stored on my Drobo 5D. I then have a direct copy of all my finished projects and important data then copied to my Drobo 4 bay, which I keep in a separate location in case of a fire, theft, or water damage. And finally, in case all of my backup hardware fails, I recently started using an online backup tool called Backblaze. For 5 bucks a month, this backs up my computer, my Drobo 5D, and any other drive I connect to the computer. There is no limit to how much storage Backblaze will upload for a computer. Although it did take a little over 2-3 to three months to back up my roughly 7 terabytes of data, it is now plenty worth it. If I ever lose the data, they will send me a zip file for free, that'd be a pretty big zip file, a DVD for a hundred bucks, not really going to go with that, and the option I personally have to go with is a USB hard drive for 190 bucks per terabyte. So yes, that would come to around 1300 bucks if I ever completely lost everything. But being most of it is important business documents, that's a pretty small price to pay for years of work. The average person could use the free zip file option and be just fine. So one copy is near my computer, one copy is in another location away from the computer, and one copy is in the cloud as a last ditch effort. So there you have it. No matter if you are using a single hard drive to back up your stuff or end up building a crazy massive server. The important message here is to always have more than one copy of your important data. If you are interested in the Backblaze software I talked about, definitely check them out using the free trial with the affiliate link in the description below. It does help me out a lot, but I want to be clear that Backblaze is not sponsoring this video. I truly and genuinely love their product. If you would like to see an in-depth review on their service, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a fantastic rest of your day.